It's a feeling few people forget when hearing of a community picking up the pieces after a horrific attack. Nationally, two shooting sprees in the last month killed 18 people. For some, carrying a gun is their answer to efforts to protect their family. New Sense Gina Glaros visited a local gun store and found out they're having a tough time keeping firearms on the shelves. These days, Top Guns in Terre Haute has had trouble keeping up with business. There are days, literally, there's a line of people out the door to get in to buy guns. Tactical gun sales in particular have tripled. We deal with the largest distributors in the U.S., and there's a reason we can't call and just p get whatever we want. It's because every dealer's doing the same thing, and because of sales being uh, in such high demand at the moment. All firearms are in just such high demand. Ellis says there are three reasons for the nationwide boost in sales. The upcoming election and possible taxing. It is a, a, an election year, and we may have a second-term Democrat president, which, of course, potentially leads to another weapons ban similar to the Brady Bill that we had back in the uh, late 90s. And two other factors, a U.N. peace treaty potentially restricting weapons and the two shooting tragedies, one in the Aurora, Colorado movie theater and the other at the Sikh Temple in Wisconsin. Customers like Vietnam War veteran Ernie King believe it's your constitutional right to own a gun, but he says it's a topic that will always be controversial. It goes in cycles, it never ends. I don't think it ever will end. A busy time for the firearms business as folks search for a way to protect their own. In Terre Haute, Gina Galeros, News 10. Top Guns reports seeing more women than usual buying guns for personal and home protection.